hi friends welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video today I am doing some DIYing on this vase that I got last time from HomeSense so I went to Michael's and picked up these two paints so I will be giving this vase a different kind of look I got inspired by restoration hardware vases that they have so I am starting off by covering the entire vase with the lighter paint that I got. As you can see, you want to cover the whole thing. I am using this sponge that I picked up from Michaels as well. I just find that it gives a nice finish and really you don't have to be neat with this. You can just go very carelessly and even that some things are being see-through that actually works. As you can see, here's how it looks like. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use the darker paint to give it a little bit of a dimension using a sponge as well. And you want to dab off the excess paint. You don't want to have too much and then just with feather like strokes, just go ahead and have fun. And after I went ahead and grabbed a little bit more of that lighter paint and just went over the gray that I just did just to soften it up a little bit. And now for these spheres, I am so excited the way they turned out. So I went ahead and covered them with the lighter paint. They were already white, so it was pretty easy to cover them up. But anyways, as you can tell, this paint covers very well. So if you have anything like this with a darker color, then it definitely works. Uh, so you just want to cover the whole thing as your base. And then I use this matte gel. It's supposed to be like a texture gel. I'm not too sure, I just picked it up and I decided to use it. After I covered it all up with the glue, I went ahead and grabbed some play sand from the kids sandbox and I sprinkled it all over the sphere just to give it that nice texture and you guys I love the way it turned out it works so well and then I just went ahead and painted it over with uh, some of the darker and the lighter paint As you can see I started off with that darker gray paint and then I went ahead and started adding the lighter paint and when I started adding that lighter paint it just really added more dimension to it and I really loved how that sand worked you guys I was so impressed and then I also like that you actually can see through it because it just gives a little bit of a different color Alright guys, and since I had the storage box um, right displayed by our TV stand, I wanted to kind of make it cohesive to go with the rest of the decor that I did. So I figured, you know what, I have the paint, why not paint it over? And I feel like it turned out really, really nice. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Oh, 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 
So for the second book that I colored, I used this black paint and then I added a little bit of the lighter paint just to give it a little bit of a lighter color. But that was it. I hope you guys really enjoy watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I will be making more vases um, because I still have so much paint left over. So let me know if you would like to see that. Don't forget to press that like button and I will talk to you in my next video. Thank <laughs> you.